Member Statements. The member for Haldeman Norfolk. As I told members of this chamber yesterday, I have the unique position of being able to see legislation before this House from an independent lens. I can be, I can be genuine in my approach, and I have nothing to protect or defend but those interests of my constituents. And I'm a bit cranky with what's going on here. Who here actually cares about our education workers? Who here actually cares about our students? We have one side of this House who cares about getting even with unions and is again threatening the notwithstanding clause. And we have another side that encourages political action. I will give credit to my colleague from Guelph, who yesterday encouraged this House to work together, and I was heartened to hear that negotiations have picked up again. I do find it convenient that there's been all sorts of talk the past few days about the need to have our, our students in school. Many of the ministers opposite will know that throughout the pandemic, I was the person coming to them very concerned about the mental health of our young people. My concerns at the time fell on deaf ears. A word of warning to our education workers. If you decide to walk off the job and the lives of students are severely impacted, you will be blamed and your union will wear the wrath of Ontario parents. And at the same time, the union will have given this government exactly what they wished for. Merry Christmas. To this government, to QP, stop using some of the province's lowest paid workers and stop using our kids as political pawns. Speaker, it's time every person in this chamber comes together to, don to tone down the rhetoric, to get the job done. In my maiden speech, I asked members of this House to do politics differently. Today would be a good day to start.